Triple British Touring Car Champion Matt Neal and the driver for Team Dynamics Honda in the Harfords Yuasa Bat FK8 this year. Last year was a brand new car and a brand new teammate as well. And you have well, you had a good bit of success with the car. You got pole positions and you both won. You come into 2019, you've got a big bank of data. You must be you must be really excited about 2019. I wouldn't say I'm excited. I'm optimistic. You know, I think we're in a pretty good place. It was a challenging first year uh, because I'd lost an experienced teammate with Flash. Uh, I got Dan who was experienced in other formula but not touring cars. So, um, you know, his data bank was minimal. So we ended up following my route a bit, which meant some weekends we were very good, some weekends we were average, and some weekends we were completely out at the park, you know. So, but it's good, it means the raw speeds in the car uh, coming back. So as I say, 30% of the race meetings, we were faster than the old FK2. 30% we were the same, and 30% we were drastic. So we're now focusing on, we're focused on what we thought the weak points of the car was over the winter. Uh, and we're now focusing on those, those circuits where we did struggle a bit. Dan's got a year under his belt. You know, I've got a year under my belt with the car, so I'm yeah, hopeful. How fiddly is a touring car to set up? How difficult is it? What's the key points that you've got to get right? The problem is you're looking for such marginal gains. Um, I wouldn't say they're, it's rocket science to drive them, but it's, you're looking not for tenths, you're looking for hundreds of a second. Yeah. And you come up and you change something and you've found five hundreds, which is nothing. You know, they always, the old adage, it takes three tenths of a second to blink. Yeah. That's ten places on the grid. You know, you, you, you put it like that and... So you think, well, oh, we haven't found a lot, but it is a lot, because how many, how many that's can you find? You know, you've just got to keep on chipping away at it. And it's a constant thing, isn't it? I mean, your, your winter testing programme is so important to you. You're not abroad this year. You're here where you struggled. Circuits in the UK where you struggled. So you've got Knock Hill, you go to Croft. Are, are those two, well, why have you struggled at those circuits? Are they, are they rear-wheel drive circuits, or, or what's the deal? Well, Knock Hill is, is a bit like abroad for us, isn't it? It's almost abroad. It's not, well, the temperature's abroad, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, we struggled there. A lot of them, they were tight. I mean, Cross got a very technical section, tight and twisted, getting out the hairpins. Uh, we struggled with getting the power down because um, they're putting out a fair bit of power that, that yeah. these days in modern NGTC cars. Uh, Knock Hill's the same, you know, it's, but it's marginal. Uh, I think I was two tenths behind Dan in uh, qualifying here last year. I was 21st and yeah. he was third or something, you know, so it's, you're just looking for those little bits. He was Paul. Was he Paul? Yeah. I didn't want to take it away. Sorry, sorry yeah. about that. Uh, okay, so, so it's important that Brand Satch is a, a place where you go really well. You know, you ended the season very strong last year and that's, that's round one. It's on the indie circuit, but it, you know, you're saying qualifying so tight. How much do you guys work together as a team when it comes to actual race day? Obviously when you're testing, you're, you're in the truck there and your heads are both in a laptop. But when it comes to actual race meet, what, what is it like in the dynamics camp? I think it's different in dynamics to um, other teams I've driven for because, you, you know, as a driver, you, it, it's quite a, you've got to be quite selfish to succeed because yeah. the first person you're benchmarked against is your teammate. And so that's the first person you want to beat and, and grind into the ground in the nicest possible way. But in dynamics, I have a different interest. So, you know, I try and whether it be with Flash or now with Dan, you know, I want the team to do well. And if they do well, then so we do work more as a team. And I think that's been one of our core strengths over the last 10 years. That's why we've had the success we've had, because we're very integral. We're a family, you know, uh, outfit and, you know, we work for the greater good of the, the team as much as each other. The car looks great this year. You've had a, it's not as black as it was, there's a lot more white in it and right away it looks fresh. You know, who, who designed it? Was it? Is it some of you guys in the team do or is it somebody outside that does it for you? Oh, an agency did it. It was, um, it's interesting you say that because it's had mixed responses. It's had some great responses, but it's had the flick side as well. But I think it was done to be different, to, to be brighter. Um, the agency came up with it. They came up with some different ideas and. Honda liked it, Halfords went for it, and, and Uasa were, were chuffed a bit, so yeah, it's, it's nice to be different anyway. Well, Brand Satch isn't far away, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much for sitting down, I know it's a very busy time for you, you've got a couple of qualifying runs to do where Dan Kamish goes out there and does all the race runs, 
you know, keeping the young man busy. But uh, we wish you the best of luck for Brands Hatch, and we we'll look forward to seeing you up here in September, man. Cheers, Dunk. We're optimistic, but there's a lot of good outfits out there, and I think there's a lot of people optimistic. So, um, yeah, Brands will be the proof of the pudding. Yeah, good luck. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.